completely empty. Fat tulip, said Dunwoody, if you waste my time once more, I'm throwing you out this swimming pool. And off she went. <laughs> what off? 27 faces popped up from behind the seats. Come on, let's pull gravy off the diving board. Dunwoody was painting her toenails when Fat Tulip rushed up to her. Miss, miss, he shouted, I'm really not wasting your time. There are people in the swimming pool, 27 of them. Dunwoody blew on her toenails and with one muscly arm picked up Fat Tulip by the ear. Suddenly, doo -doo -doo -doo, they heard a noise. It was Inspector Challoner outside the swimming pool. There was only one place where 27 people would need their own towels, the local swimming pool. And now the inspector was here, he'd catch them red-handed. Suddenly, the door opened and there stood Dunwoody holding Fat Tulip by the ear. Out you go, she said. One, two... Madam, said the inspector, that door must be kept shut. There's escaped prisoners in there, they mustn't get out. Three, said Dunwoody, and let go of Fat Tulip. Crash, bang, bang, crash. The inspector and Fat Tulip collapsed into a heap at the bottom of the stairs. Madam, shouted the inspector, there are 27 escaped prisoners in your swimming pool. No, there aren't, said Dunwoody. Yes, there are, replied Fat Tulip. It's just that they're very good at hiding. Come on, said the inspector, there's no time to lose. And they raced into the swimming pool. But once again, it was completely empty. But what's that? said Fat Tulip, pointing to a big barrel of gravy on the end of the diving board. It's a clue, said the inspector. I'll examine it. You two search the area. Cautiously, the inspector climbed up to the top of the ladder. Then he looked down at the ground. It was rather a long way off. Very carefully, he edged his way along the diving board towards the barrel of gravy. <coughs> Meanwhile, Fat Tulip and Dunwoody were prowling along by the side of the pool, looking for the prisoners. There was absolute silence, except for the squeak, 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 squeak of Dunwoody's trainers. Suddenly, <coughs> 27 heads popped out of the water. <coughs> when Fat Tulip and toppled into the pool. <coughs> went the inspector and clutched onto the barrel full of gravy. Slowly, the barrel turned onto its side. Help! shouted Fat Tulip. I can't swim! I can't... That's all he said, because pouring down on top of him came 14 gallons of gravy, then splash! The barrel landed in the water by his side. Fat Tulip flung his arms round it and held it tight. Then he started to kick. He was swimming. The barrel was keeping him afloat. He thrashed his pink, podgy legs up and down and started steaming through the water, holding the barrel in front of him. Meanwhile, Inspector Challoner was wobbling and wobbling, and then he toppled down, down, down into the water. Ah! Fat Tulip was steaming along, holding his barrel in front of him. He scooped up the inspector and he carried him to the side of the pool. Done what he heaved a very wet and gravy stained policeman out of his barrel and sat him down on the side of the pool. Hooray! He went the 27 prisoners. Fat Tulips rescued Inspector Challoner. What a laugh! This is the best outing we've had for ages. But the inspector wiped the gravy out of his eyes and said, I arrest you all. In the name of the law. Wait a minute, said Dunwoody. What about my nice pool? It's covered in old bits of soggy food. I've got a party of nuns coming here for a swimming lesson at three o'clock. You don't want them covered in gravy, do you? Oh, no, said the prisoners. Well, you better clear up the pool, hadn't you? Oh, yes, said the prisoners. And they all dived in again. <laughs> Five minutes later, they were out again. There you are, said Fred the Baddy, nibbling at the last soggy chip. All done. Then they all lined up while the inspector put the handcuffs on them. Then the inspector turned to Fat Tulip. Well done, Squire, he said. We're going on holiday next week. When we get to the sea, you'll be able to swim in it without going under, won't you? Yes, said Fat Tulip. I suppose I will. As long as I take a barrel full of gravy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.